Four tests, every chosen one must pass in these last days to be used by God. In the end times, a divine scenario unfolds where God, meticulous and loving, selects his agents, men and women prepared to radiate the divine purpose throughout the earth. These chosen ones are not simply summoned to ministry, but are called to impact every sphere of human life, from education to commerce, manifesting the heavenly kingdom with renewed vigor. However, make no mistake, the path to being used by God in this way is paved with severe tests and crucial refinements. Those God chooses today are like gold purified in the fiery crucible of adversity, emerging as pure and worthy instruments of His service. The journey of these end-time warriors is marked by specific tests designed to gauge their faith, purity, and obedience. These are tests that not only challenge, but transform, molding the chosen ones until they reflect the image of their master in an irreproachable way. In this sacred space, we will explore in depth the four fundamental tests that each chosen one must face before being fully empowered by God. These trials are not for the faint-hearted, but for those who are willing to be molded by the divine hand, even when it means being stretched to the limits of their endurance. Each challenge, each trial, is a cornerstone in the edifice of divine preparation, guiding you precisely to the ultimate call God has for your life. That's why I invite you not only to watch, but to absorb every word of this crucial message. Recognizing these tests will not only illuminate your spiritual journey, but will also ensure that you don't advance prematurely without completing the essential training. For God's call on your life is an incomplete work if we don't allow Him to prepare us completely, leaving no aspect of our faith and character untouched by His transforming grace. On the path of the spiritual journey, each chosen one faces crucial tests that shape their faith and strengthen their bond with God. Test 1. Faith The first and most fundamental test that every chosen one must go through is the test of faith. It is a challenge to maintain an unshakable faith, even when the ground seems to open up under your feet and circumstances scream despair. How can we remain confident in God's plan and purpose when everything around us seems to be falling apart? This test takes us beyond the limits of human understanding, stretching us out of our comfort zone, to a place where our faith is not based on what we see, feel, or hear, but solely on God's unshakable promise. In these challenging moments, it may seem that God is distant, that our prayers are not heard. However, this is exactly when He is shaping us to trust not in our feelings, but in His infallible Word. Adversity is not a sign of divine abandonment, but of deep spiritual training. God leads us through these deserts so that we can emerge with a solid faith, capable of withstanding the headwinds of life. As we face these trials, we are reminded of James 1 2, 4, who encourages us to consider it pure joy when we face various trials, because we know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. These tests are not meant to break us, but to build us up as solid buildings, founded on the rock that is Christ Jesus. Every challenge, every difficulty, has the purpose of strengthening our faith and shaping us into the image of Christ. Therefore, even in the most intense storms of life, we can find comfort and strength in fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. He remains the firm ground beneath our feet, even when everything else seems uncertain. By immersing ourselves in His Word, we strengthen our faith and find the community of believers that lifts us up in praise and prayer. If you are going through a time of trial right now, know that this is part of the refining that God is doing in your life to prepare you for even greater service. Stand firm, keep believing, and you will come out of these trials with a faith that does not waver, firm in the eternal promise of our faithful God. In our spiritual journey, we now move on to the second challenge that God sets before us, the test of time and patience. This is a monumental test, where endurance is crucial. Test 2. The test of time and patience. One of the greatest challenges God sets us is the test of time and patience. Why does He allow us to face long delays? It's to cultivate in us the essential virtue of patience. Since the fall in the Garden of Eden, Humanity has lived a life independent of God, 
centered on itself instead of relying totally on the Creator as originally intended. This fall deeply affected our nature, making us prone to selfishness and impatience. Looking at the story of Joseph, we see a vivid example of this test. He spent years unjustly imprisoned until he learned, the hard way, that his gift and his destiny came from God alone. In the same way, God is testing us today to see if we are capable of waiting patiently for his plans to come true in our lives and his time, not ours. He wants us to understand that we cannot achieve his purposes by our own strength or timetable, but only through a deep trust in his perfect providence and timing. Imagine this test as an intense spiritual training, where each day of waiting is an opportunity to strengthen our faith and our dependence on God. Even when it seems like he is taking his time, he is quietly at work, lining up every detail for our good and for his glory. Patience, here, is not simply passivity, but an active attitude of trust and expectation in God's sovereign power. If you're facing an extended season of waiting right now, take it as a sign that God is sculpting your character to prepare you for something greater. Remember the words of Psalm 27 verse 14, Wait on the Lord. Be strong. Take courage. Wait on the Lord. These words remind us that, even in the waiting, we can find strength and courage in our trust in the Lord, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill His promises at the perfect time. Now, we enter the third challenge that every chosen one faces on their spiritual journey. Test 3. Obedience. One of the most crucial tests that God places before every chosen one is the test of obedience. When we are called by God for a specific purpose, He expects us to follow His will and His ways with total submission. This means being ready to obey God's commands, even when they seem to defy common sense or when the path seems arduous. The story of Abraham offers a powerful example of this principle. He was challenged to sacrifice his own son, Isaac, as proof of his obedience and unwavering faith in God. Despite the emotional weight and apparent absurdity of the divine command, Abraham trusted God completely and obeyed, demonstrating his sincere devotion and total submission to the will of the Most High. To be God's chosen one is not just to hear his voice, but to respond with immediate and complete obedience. To be used by God in a powerful way in these end times, it is essential to be willing to obey him in all areas of life. This includes following his word without reservation, living according to his moral principles, and being ready to follow his plans, even when they don't coincide with our own aspirations or limited understanding. Obedience is not only an act of submission, but also a tangible proof of our faith and trust in God. Sometimes it can be difficult to understand or accept his will, especially when it seems contrary to our immediate interests. However, it is in these situations that our obedience becomes even more significant in God's eyes, as it demonstrates our trust in His sovereign knowledge and wisdom. So take a sincere look at your life today. Are there areas where you need to adjust your obedience to God? Be ready to seek His will in all circumstances and follow His ways with determination and faith. Always remember, obedience is not just a requirement but an indispensable key to fulfilling God's purpose in your life. Let's now explore the last and crucial test that every chosen one faces on their spiritual journey. Test 4. Purity and Holiness The final and fundamental test that every chosen one must face is the test of purity and holiness. God, being holy, calls His chosen ones to live lives that reflect His own holiness. This goes beyond mere moral purity. It involves deep spiritual and emotional purity. God wants His elect to be clean in heart, mind, and spirit, living in a way that honors His name in every respect. This implies avoiding sinful practices, cultivating pure thoughts and intentions, and maintaining an intimate communion with Him through constant prayer. It is vital to understand that purity and holiness are not achieved by our own efforts but are the fruit of the Holy Spirit's transforming work in our lives. As we surrender to God and allow Him to purify our hearts, He enables us to live in a way that glorifies His name in everything we do. If you are struggling with areas of impurity in your life, don't despair. 
God is faithful to forgive and cleanse those who sincerely repent and seek His face. Confess your sins to Him, surrender your life completely to Him, and allow Him to work in you to produce the holiness and purity He desires. So, these are the four crucial tests that every chosen one must face in these end times in order to be used powerfully by God. Faith, patience, obedience, purity, and holiness are essential qualities that God seeks in His elect. By embracing these tests and allowing God to work in you, you will be preparing yourself for the extraordinary purpose He has in store for your life. May these words serve as an encouragement and a challenge to you today enabling you to grow and develop as one of God's chosen, ready, and willing to do His will at all times. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.